Hey Archery Talk, this is Lucas, and today I've got a double bow unboxing. A uh, little, well actually back in the ATA show in January, I was talking to Martin Archery about testing out some of their new bows. And after a few months of uh, getting everything figured out, they finally sent them over. I believe I've got a Martin Max series hunting bow here on the left, and I think I've got an Axon series target bow to my right. Let's break into them and see exactly what we've got. I'm going to put this one down for now. And we'll see. What's in box number one? Right. That was easy. All right. Let's see if there's anything else inside the box. It is there. All right. So yeah, this is indeed. I think this is the max. Bring it out of the plastic before I make any incorrect judgment calls. There we go. And this is the max, is it the 33? It was, okay, this is exactly what I was hoping to test. So it's a 33 inch, actually it's a 33 and a half inch axle to axle bow. Um, the thing that intrigued me most about the Martin bows when I saw them this year at the ATA show was that their flagship bows were coming in uh, at just under $800. Uh, seven, I think 797 is the MSRP for these things. Uh, so, I mean, it's not, it's not often you get their, you know, a company's flagship bows for that kind of price uh, anymore. So I'm pretty intrigued about it. Um, so yeah, as I said, this bow, 33 and a half inch axle to axle. So it's a fairly long, should be a stable platform. Uh, I think they've called these the dual sync cams, or I've got some notes down here. I'm gonna bring them up on the table because it's hard to remember all these things uh, when I'm doing two bows at once. All right, so the brace height on this thing is just over six and a half inches, six and nine sixteenths, I've been, uh, so says the website. Um, anything else? This thing has an IBO of uh, 333 feet per second. I believe I've got 70 pound limbs on this and I'll be shooting this at 29 and a half inches of draw length. Ideally, it's got a rotating mod. I've got to use the long, large cam on this thing. They have two cams for each of their bows, a long draw cam and a short draw cam. The long draw cam on this one goes from 27 to 30 inches, so I'll just be about maxed out. Uh, once I get it all set up. Um, I shot these briefly at the ATA show. I don't know a lot about them. I like the grip a lot. It's again very flat in the front as you can see there. Um, so it should should fit my hand really nicely. They've got little wooden inlays. You know Martin makes a lot of traditional bows. So it's a, they're, they make wooden risered bows. I'm guessing that's the same kind of the same kind of thing they've got in there. Interestingly the uh, the right side is kind of tapered in on the, where the wooden inlay is. Uh, the grip, I'm not sure, I've never ever seen a difference before because on the, on the left side it's just straight straight out, so I don't know if that's by design, um, maybe to make a little room for your finger when you're holding it there, I'm not sure. Um, and the interesting thing about all of the Martin bows is they have, I think, what's it called exactly? It is called the, the RRAD weight distribution system. So they've got weights here at the bottom and some at the top, and then you can move them around. There's different, they weigh different, um, different amounts. So you can move them around the bow a little bit to, uh, you know, to get the weights where, positioned where you want them so you can get the bow to balance how you want when you're at full draw. I've never, again, never played with those before. That'll be uh, an interesting little thing for me to, to hang around with. And uh, I'm not sure what camo this is on this bow. It's, um, but it looks, you know, look, it's very kind of greeny, woodsy camo. Looks, looks like it would be good for the northeastern areas where I tend to hunt. Um, so that's it. I'm going to open up the other box and see what's inside. Carefully. All right. Yeah, none of these boxes are lab are labeled to show me what's going to be in them, so it'll be a surprise. I think this is going to be an Axon 39 or 40. I cannot recall which one uh, we're talking about sending me. So let's break it open and find out. Some packing material there. Ooh, it's an all white. I always like the white bow. I want to see if there's anything else in there. Nope, no hats or anything. Okay, let's pull this one out of the package. Let's see exactly what we've got in here. See so yeah, this this is a nice long bow. This is the 40. So this is the same bow that um, that won Vegas uh, this year, or at least did for for most of the year before the results got changed. And the wooden inlays on this side are the same thing. They're they're tapered down again here on the right side if the camera can pick that up. So that's interesting. And the same 
And the grip is the same kind of flat, flat front that I saw on the Max. It feels maybe a little bit thicker on this bow. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we'll dig in there in a minute. Um, and I believe these bows have a pretty good speed for a 40 inch bow. I think this one's coming close to 330 feet per second. It is uh, 328 feet per second uh, is the IBO on this bow with a brace height of just over se seven inches. Seven, double check, yeah, oh, seven inches even. Uh, and the axle to axle is technically 39 and a half. They have, they have the, uh, they have a 39 inch axon as well. I'm not entirely sure why they have, uh, they have a 39 and a 39 and a half and a 40 or 39 and 39 and a half inch bow, but that's their choice. Uh, this one as well, I'm using the long draw cams. I'm going to be a little shorter on the cams this time. Uh, I believe, I don't, I'm positive. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to be coming up actually fairly, I'm not going to get the full rotation out of these cams. Like I was going to be pretty close on the max 33. That's what I'm going to be more in the middle or the beginning. So we'll see what that feels like. Um, but anyway, I'm interested, I'm interested in playing with these. Haven't shot Martins really at all. Um, before I started, get, I got into archery. I hadn't really had a chance to play with these bows. My uh, when I was initially first looking at my very first bow, I was actually looking at a Martin, uh, a used one, and the archery talk classifieds years ago, and ended up going in a different direction. Uh, so this will be a little makeup opportunity for me to shoot a, a Martin target bow. Um, so it's a again, it's a nice looking riser, all white, a bit of a textured riser there, um, cable slide is a uh, pretty traditional. They got a string stop in the front here. It's got the same uh, RRAD weight distribution system. Um, I gotta get the camera coming on that. So again, you can you can change the, the weight left to right, front, top and bottom. Um, I'm not sure what differences these things are gonna be coming in, but we'll have a look anyway. Um, but that's really about it, Archery Talk. Stay tuned for some testing videos. I'll try to get these involved in some kind of head-to-head -head comparisons or shootouts with other bows. And uh, yeah, we'll stay tuned for more and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.